message nam the kanu sent to president momodu buhari for reintegrating 601 ex boko haram fighters in the society ipob leader has sent a message to nigerian's president president momodu buhari over his decision to integrate 601 ex boko haram terrorists into the society Namdi Kanun, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran Ipo, has labasted, has labasted President Momodu Buhari for integrating the former Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria. He accused the president of pampering the terrorists and risking the lives of many other Nigerians. Namdi Kanun stated this in re reaction to the graduation and reintegration of 601 repentant Boko Haram members in the society. Recall that the ex-fighters reintegrated into the society included those from Cameroon, Chad and Niger. The coordinator's operation, Safe Coordinator Major General Bamidele Shafa made the announcement on Saturday. In a tweet, Namdekan wrote, no nation ever pampers terrorists at President Momodu Buhari's Nigeria not only pampers terrorists but it gives them scholarships and sends them to mix with those they are terrorizing and slaughtered. There is no other way of looking at this than that of the, that than that Nigeria is the only nation that rewards terrorism. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. This writer and what Namdi Kanu says is very, very um, accepted. Truly, how can we have a leader in this country and looks as if we don't have a leader? How can we have a leader and terrorists terrorizing the whole country? without even making any comment, without even um, saying anything about it. Instead of um, get, taking these people to, to court, or instead of arresting them, instead of persecuting them, look at what he's doing, reintegrating them, believing the rubbish he told him that they have repented. Imagine reintegrating 601 uh, Boko Haram, pretended to be repented. Imagine integrating them into the society. Is that what a good leader should have done or should do? He, I, I, that, 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 that shows that he is so much um, comfortable and happy with the way Nigerians are, are facing challenges and pains. He's very, very much happy that they are being killed by his uh, people, by the Fulanese. Is that, what should we call them? Is that wickedness or, or what? Or selfishness? Imagine, instead of arresting them for killing innocent people, or killing, killing human beings, is accepting them and, uh, or, and accommodating them as well in the society. I know that God is watching. By the time the wrath of God will come upon these people, they will definitely they would, they would definitely not recover from it. Imagine if oh, it was their cows or this so-called Boko Haram that is being killed by Nigerian citizens. I know what would have happened. I know what their decision would have been. They would arrest this, the, the people that are involved in the killing of these people, of this Boko Haram. They would definitely take laws into their hands. But when it comes to the, it's their citizens in this country. Look at what is happening. Imagine, look at what is happening. Look at what uh, uh, Uche, Uche, Uche uh, Chinyere said. Look at what he said. He said that oh, Nigerians are in prison for stealing Akara. Yet, Buhari is releasing Boko Haram and giving them 20,000 Naira. Is that what should we call that? Is, it is he encouraging them to do more, to kill more Nigerians, especially the Christians or not? Imagine. Imagine that. This is absolutely wickedness as far as I'm concerned. This man also said that uh, the, country, the country President Mohamed Buhari was elected to.
to govern is currently facing high rates of killing in the north, in the north part of the country by this same Boko Haram terrorist, Fulani and bandit and bandit as well. Yes, Nigerian president is training repented uh, terrorists and reintegrating them back into the country. Is this fair? Is this fair? Newsmen in Abuja, this, the, 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 the spokesman of the CUPP, uh, Ikenga Imu Chinyere, called the new development an, an uh, insensitive one. Yes, it is. Due to the calls that some Nigerians who stole little uh, beans cake are serving a long term in prison. But the, the, the so-called Nigeria president is reintegrating Boko Haram members uh, 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 that has killed thousands of lives. Imagine. Imagine what is happening. They did not go to prison. People that steal just little Akara, or what, should, what do they call it? They go to prison to serve months. But these ones did not even serve anything. Instead, they keep encouraging them, even dash their money for repenting. Dash their money for killing. What should we call that? Is President Modubwari, is, is his mission coming to, 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 to the country or to become the president? Is his, is his, his mission is to wipe out uh, Nigerian citizens so that those that have come or have decided to, to take over Nigeria will take over Nigeria from him. I've said it before that this loan that President Mohamed Buhari is collecting from these so-called Chinese people will definitely put Nigerians to trouble because there's no way he can pay this loan for the few years remaining for him to leave the seat of presidency. So the only thing he's trying to do is to wipe out Nigeria citizens and give and use Nigeria as a collateral for the loans that he has collected from Chinese people. I know that this is what made the Igbos, Namdi Kanu, saw that made them um, that, that they made them decide to to be free. Made them decide to break up from Nigeria and be on their home because they don't want pains. They don't want people to turn them to slaves. They don't want Nigerians to, to turn them to slaves. So it's better for them to, to, to separate. It is a good idea to separate. It is very, very good to separate. That is, this is why I'm, in so, I'm so much in support of Biafra and IPOB members separating. That I've said it before that those that refuse to support Biafra are just wasting their time. Definitely, if they refuse, they are refusing because of the money that is being given to them to bribe them to say negative things about Namdi Khan. I know they will definitely regret this. And it might be too late by then if they want to come back or join Biafra Republic. It might be too late. It might be, it be very too late. Yes. This is the height of insensitivity. That unrepented Boko Haram members, mothers, the mother people that have that they have been ravaging major part of the northeast. You gather them because you want to make money. Then you talk about training the integrating, training and integrating them into the society. That is something that a country or a leader of a country should not even be doing and President Mondubar is doing it. We said it before that he has an hidden agenda for re re treating these people. He has it and that's what we're seeing now. It's very, very obvious. It's very, very obvious. So viewers, you have heard it all for Namdi Kanu. Namdi Kanu can never say what he does not or is not real. You can never say what he did not see. It's always saying the truth, and that is it. It's very, 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 very um, confidence for saying that. I would definitely see this, the, the, the real result of this in future. So viewers, your comments concerning this news is very important. Don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates. 
whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share and like these things as well. Thank you.